Hello everybody, this is the Ruler of Ice, and welcome back to C Canarium. Now, before I continue, uh, I will say that I actually went back, all the way back, because I, it's, I was still bothered that, and felt like I was missing something, like the key to my room. So I went back to search for it and really looked through the places. I didn't find a key. Instead I found notes. And I even went back to the radio room and uh, tried to get a clear signal. And I actually did. And I believe I cracked the code. And uh, I did this all an hour ago and uh, I didn't recall the whole thing uh, as a whole as I probably should have because I didn't know how long it would take for me to search the key if I did find it so I so instead I recorded the whole thing in clips so, if you've seen this video before I actually made that, managed to compile that video and upload it, then uh, you at least know to expect it. I, I will try to compile that video, that whole thing, all those clips into one, vi one video. Oh, and uh, I will do. I will say that while I'm not 100% sure, the Morse code I got was, um, if I now remember correctly, uh, MF25. That's what I got, if I remember correctly. Now, without further ado, let's continue. Here I got an auto save. What is this? A mirror? Don't think I didn't see that. Don't think I didn't see that. You did too. I'm sure you did. I have a third eye. I have a third eye. For a moment, I thought my reflection in the mirror was about to talk to me. Uh, talk to you? I didn't get that impression. I got the impression that a third eye was about to form on your forehead. I can't use anything here. Odd. I'll keep this scanner up as much as I can now. Because I don't want to miss anything. An underground lake? my radio. Frank! Can you hear me? Oh, thank God! Yes, I can hear you! Finally. It seems the effect of the mixture starts to wear off. Frank, heed me carefully. Time is running out, so I must be brief. Where exactly are you? Dr. Faust, is that you? 
I'm inside the caves below the base. Where are you? Listen. I cannot talk much. I know that you are having trouble remembering. But you must please go. Use one of the submarines and follow the light. Do you hear me? Come on, please. Where are you? Damn it! The connection is lost. Instead, I have to keep going. Why? Where are they? Hmm. Good question. So it was Dr. Faust that tried to contact me earlier. A submarine? Where's the submarine? I can't take out anything. Another hole. What's that sound? Oh, there we go. Pillars? Here? I don't need an axe, I already had one. Had. The these look familiar. Were these the ones I saw in those tanks? In Biolab? Flashlight, but I already have one. These are probably used. I can't. There's nothing in here. Doctor Blake's notes too. We finished tweaking the submarines one last time, and again they are ready enough for the next uncertain voyage ahead. This time we will also mark the way with light sources to make it easier for the later expeditions. In a short while, all members of the primary underwater exploration party, led by Dr. James Barlow, will head for the next destination, which appears to be towards the mythical entrance to the legendary Netherworld. Towards the mythical entrance to the legendary Netherworld? But again, I wonder whether we are looking for something that is not to be found. After all, I've experienced, read and studied here, after all those sleepless nights spent discussing the laws of nature and how to bend them, what lies beyond and how to reach a certain state of s to see more without eyes. Even I cannot help think this journey may easily lead straight to hell, but we have to go through it all in search of answers. Dr. Morgan C. Blake. Yeah. I'm with you. Found a note about the climate of the caverns. It is possible to assume that due to volcanic activities in the Earth's crust, the climate here is humid and temperate, but we don't know exactly whether this is the case. Volcanic activities? That would explain the... You flames of lava like when I came down. That theory somehow explains the nature of those small scattered fragments of obsidian along with that cryptic stone wall that welcomes you when entering the other round gate. You mean where that first tree was? 
As men of science, we cannot fully grasp most of the phenomena happening around us. No apparent sign has been left behind, indicating the true motives of the carvers of these inconceivably old caverns. All I am sure of is that this place holds something strange. Grasping the soil here firmly, in both hands, gives me a rudimentary sensation I cannot translate into words. Something I am sure no other mortal has hitherto perceived. The nature of the underwater caverns. Were those maze like tunnels flooded at some point in time, or were they carved underwater? This was the main topic of debate at, la at last night's meeting. And what Dr. Faust hinted at on various occasions, cited from a dark leather bound book, was too frightening. At least for the ones who could understand the underlying links. Megalithic statues, ornate standing stones, and the flat areas of polished rock we could see at some points made us think that this place could be a religious temple complex of some sort. We cannot imagine what it looked like in its former days. For now it lies in ruins, bare and without any sign of underwater fauna or flora. Wait, what is that? This is that bird statue. The small version of a gigantic statue I saw before. It is beautifully carved out of a metal I can't identify. Additionally, it looks like it was made true to the many details of the bigger one. A trophy item. Oh, that's a summary. But should I really use it now? I still think I sh I should be able to find a key somewhere. The key to my room. But I don't know where I lost it. One of the notes I discovered in those clips I mentioned Uh, said that I went into a frenzy. My heart stopped and I went into a frenzy. Why do I... <laughs> I... Now I keep expecting that something rises from this. There are two here. I don't think there's anything else I can actually do. If I can't find the key to my room, there's no point going back. Yes. I really do get the feeling that there's no... There's a point of no return. First submarine explorations revealed what was O. Oh, an autosave. I can't see anything. By the way, I noticed that my walkie talkie has Morse code signs. What is this? Dolphin. That's the name of this submarine. I remember a combat exploration submarine. Foul. The lights.
where are the lights? Oh man, that that one scared me. That one actually scared me. I actually thought that was a snake statue. I go deeper. Oh, oh, I, I didn't see notice that controls on the bottom left. Uh, left control descent, okay. That's a statue. And so is that. What are they? Should we die here? Ah! 
Who's talking? Who's talking? Who's talking? That couldn't have been Faust. Just moving forward. I don't think there's anything actually here to, for me to see. Wow. Just how far is this? How far is Faust? A bit slower. I guess I can die here. There are now cracks on, on the glass. of vines that
Did I die? Oh man, that scared me. That scared me badly. Ah. Did I die? Oh yeah, classic. Go to the light. Huh? Wait, this is the base. This is the base. There's nothing in here. Locked. Still locked. That's not locked. Locked. Let's check this first. The music is coming from the next room. Probably. A memory? Whose room is this again? Faust room. A note written by Dr. Faust. The power of this place, I believe, is too strong for the mind and the body. At the least, it disorients the feelings, bodily functions, and even more so the powers of judgment. Nevertheless, I didn't expect or even prepare for what, hap what happened during the session we held two days ago. Frank was not able to rise from the deep. Still, what strikes me the most is his contorted look and his speech when he came back to life. It was only subtle, but I was able to detect it. Doubtlessly, a revulsion of feeling was apparent in his countenance. There was something unnatural, something bizarre behind his marbled eyes. It seemed that he saw the deepest time frame we had been searching for a long time. I cannot be so sure about that, for his con consciousness may have been hindering the flow of communication, but it is still highly possible. His speech, even though it was almost indiscernible, seemed awkward and foray. The pronunciation was barbarously alien, and his diction had a curiously stilted quality. Beyond any doubt, the speaker was not frank. I tried to speak to him, but he seemed unaware of me. I kept looking at a certain point on the wall in front. What I discerned from his speech was a long dead language that only a few people know today, myself included. Say this. So I was the sole person who understood what he had said, and I will keep it that way until everything is settled. The past two nights, Frank has awoken up screaming, covered in a cold sweat, unable to remember the contents of his dreams, the things that caused him to scream intensely enough to render Mr. Barlow speechless. I will consult BK about this event as soon as possible. Take care. E. Warren Ross. Ten past eleven. Oh, 
on a specialist coat. This is a German book. At least I believe it is. Before I interact with that music box, no, there is no way for me to. A slight different. It's stuck. Hmm. A phonograph cylinder of the sun. Chacon in D Mean by J.S. Bach. Oh, I didn't even. I don't know Bach music that well. A trophy item. Two days ago, Frank most probably could have reached the intended time period. Among all the Canarianots, he is the most. How should I say it? gifted. But unfortunately his heart ceased beating all of a sudden. This was most unfortunate, because when he came back he doesn't remember anything specific. I believe there is no other way than increasing the intake dosage of the mixture. Very dangerous, but this seems the only way to raise the time limit and awareness in the sessions. Come to think of it, by the way, I haven't seen the shadow in a long time. N but also, n the main question now is, am I even alive? What do I even do anymore? Nothing but darkness there. But I don't think there's anything else I can actually check here or do. Liber Ivonis. I don't think there's actually anything I can do here. Maybe I just have to go back? Another light. <coughs> where, where am I? Did I get here? When? And my vision is kind of blurry. How did I get here? This is Frank Gilman, from the Upperwatt Antarctic Expedition. Over. I guess nobody can hear me. Oh, let's 
continue then. I'll stop soon. Other expedition parties. Is there anyone who can read me? One person is dead, and two others have been injured by the partial ice cave collapse. There is something here with us. Do not come through our expedition route. I repeat, do not come through our expedition route. Yes, I read you. This is Frank. For God's sake, what happened? And please, tell me where I can find you. Frank, do not stray from your path. We have come across something... terrible. Do not come here through our expedition route, no matter what happens. It looks like this fiendish netherworld depends on some kind of energy. An energy that is stored in curious stoneworks similar to an obelisk with crystals on top. And they are able to clear away some of the strange plants. Dr. Faust? Dr. Faust? Oh, come on, not again! This is nonsense. I cannot understand what is going on. Neither can I. I really don't understand this. Just what happened? What? And what's the expedition's route then? I don't know what route they took. What is this? Wait a minute. <laughs> As I predicted, a race, reptilian in physiology, lived inside these ruins after the original builders, the elder things left the area after some unknown cataclysmic event, now lost in an archaic and lost chapter of Earth's history. This relief depicts some reptilian creatures treating an elder thing with reverence. And the other relief with four tall figures, I believe symbolizes empty vessels. Huh. Golems. We've seen the same vessel figures, depicted as assuming different roles several times in most of the murals or reliefs we've come across so far. Do it. 
now what? Where do I shine it? It can't be. Can it? Oh! That mural I saw... Maybe, uh, maybe. Shown the light downwards, and now the lights are on. So it's a power source of some sort. I have to stop here. <sighs> Ooh, I'm sweaty. Quite nervous. And based on that last conversation, I'm going to guess that there are, there actually is uh, someone or something haunting me. And that I do have some chance to die. Chance. I say it like it's in the middle. But, anyway... <clears throat> Again... I... I don't know... It is possible that I'm going to get... Something like I did just now... With a way to open Dr. Faust's room door, that I'm going to get to my own room the same way, and that there never was a key for me to find. Still wonder what that Morse code is used for. Maybe I'll find out at some point. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video, leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe to my channel for more videos, and check out my previous Let's Play videos if you haven't already, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye!